Welcome to the Ripple Saga, a $125 million fine, future bans, and a ripple of uncertainty. Hey there, crypto enthusiasts. Welcome back to the Crypto Educate channel, where we break down the wild world of crypto with a dash of humor and a whole lot of knowledge. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and join our crypto community. If you've been around the block with us, smash that like button, drop a comment, and share this video with your fellow crypto comrades. Your engagement helps us grow and bring even more exciting content your way. Remember what we discuss here isn't financial advice. Always do your own research before diving into the crypto pool. All right, let's get down to business because today we've got some juicy updates in the ongoing legal battle between Ripple and the SEC that you won't want to miss. A federal judge has slapped Ripple with a hefty $125 million fine and imposed a ban on future securities law violations. Oh, and the SEC? They're not done yet. Let's unpack this together. The Ripple CC drama, a never-ending saga. First, let's rewind a bit. For those who might be new to this saga, Ripple, the company behind the XRP cryptocurrency, has been embroiled in a long-running legal battle with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. The SEC filed a lawsuit against Ripple in December 2020, accusing the company of conducting an unregistered securities offering by selling XRP to institutional clients, this has been one of the most closely watched cases in the crypto world because the outcome could set a precedent for how other cryptocurrencies are regulated in the future. Fast forward to July 2023, District Judge Annalisa Torres of the Southern District of New York dropped a bombshell ruling. She found that Ripple's direct sales of XRP to institutional clients indeed violated federal securities laws. However, in a twist that left the crypto community buzzing, she also ruled that Ripple's programmatic sales of XRP to retail clients through exchanges did not violate securities laws. It was a mixed bag for Ripple part victory, part defeat. The $125 million fine, a slap on the wrist, or a major setback. Now, here we are in 2024. And Judge Torres has delivered the latest blow in this legal showdown. Ripple has been ordered to cough up $125 million in civil penalties for those 1,278 institutional sale transactions that were found to be in violation of securities law. But hold on a second, $125 million? That's a far cry from the $1 billion in disgorgement and prejudgment interest, plus the $900 million in civil penalties that the SEC originally sought. So what gives? Well, it seems like the judge wasn't in the mood to hand the SEC a massive victory on a silver platter. The $125 million fine, while significant, is still a fraction of what the SEC was gunning for. Some might say it's a slap on the wrist, especially for a company like Ripple that has the resources to handle such a fine without breaking too much of a sweat. But the real kicker here is the injunction that Judge Torres has imposed on Ripple, banning them from any future securities law violations, the injunction a preemptive strike. Let's talk about that injunction for a moment because it's not just some run-of-the-mill legal jargon. Judge Torres didn't just fine Ripple, she also took a preemptive strike by banning the company from future securities law violations. What does that mean in plain English? Essentially, Ripple now has to tread very carefully with any future sales of XRP or other tokens. If they want to sell any securities in the future, they're going to have to file a registration statement with the SEC. This part of the ruling is particularly interesting because it hints at the judge's concerns about Ripple's on-demand liquidity offerings. Judge Torres didn't outright say that Ripple is guilty of further violations, but she did suggest that the company's behavior indicates they might be willing to push the boundaries of the law. That's legal speak for I'm watching you, Ripple, and I'm not convinced you're done with your shenanigans. The SEC next move appeal incoming? Now, let's get to the million dollar question, or should I say billion dollar question, what's the SEC going to do next? If you thought the SEC was just going to pack up and go home after this ruling, think again. The SEC is likely gearing up for an appeal of the July 2023 ruling now that the judge has imposed a sentence. Remember, the CC tried and failed to get an interlocutory appeal that's legal talk for an appeal before the case is fully resolved after Judge Torres denied their motion last year. But now that the judge has imposed a fine and an injunction, the SEC might see this as the perfect opportunity to challenge the parts of the ruling that didn't go their way, specifically the part where Ripple's programmatic sales of XRP to retail clients were deemed not to violate securities laws. If the SEC does go ahead with an appeal, we could be looking at another round of courtroom drama that could drag on for months, if not years. And let's be honest, at this point, it feels like this case is never going to end. But that's the nature of legal battles, especially when they involve billions of dollars in the future of an entire industry. Ripple's next moves, aka company under scrutiny. So where does Ripple go from here? 
with a $125 million fine hanging over their heads and an injunction in place, Ripple is under more scrutiny than ever. The company has always positioned itself as a leader in the crypto space, and they're not about to back down now, but they'll need to be extra cautious moving forward. One thing to keep an eye on is how Ripple handles its on-demand liquidity offerings, which have been a significant part of its business model. These offerings allow financial institutions to use XRP as a bridge currency for cross-border payments, reducing the need for pre-funded accounts in destination currencies. It's an innovative solution, but it's also one that could potentially run afoul of securities laws if not handled properly. Ripple will also need to be transparent with its future token sales. The judge's ruling makes it clear that if Ripple wants to sell any securities, they'll need to do so through proper channels, which means filing a registration statement with the SEC. This could slow down their operations and add additional regulatory hurdles, but it's a necessary step to stay on the right side of the law. XRP price reaction a Ripple in the market. Let's not forget about the market reaction to all this. Following the judge's ruling, the price of XRP saw a modest increase of about three cents or roughly 2%. It's not exactly a moonshot, but it's also not a sell-off, which suggests that the market isn't too rattled by the $125 million fine. But what does this mean for XRP future? Well, the market's reaction seems to indicate that investors are taking the news in stride. The fine, while significant, doesn't seem to be a death blow for Ripple or XRP. In fact, some might argue that the ruling provides a bit of clarity for the future, which could be seen as a positive by investors. However, the looming possibility of an SEC appeal could add some uncertainty to the mix. If the SEC does decide to challenge the ruling, it could lead to more volatility in the price of XRP as the market reacts to the latest developments in the case. So while the immediate reaction has been relatively calm, don't be surprised if we see some turbulence down the road. Bitcoin's turned the battle of $56,000. All right, we've spent a lot of time on Ripple and XRP, but let's shift gears and talk about the big daddy of cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin. The king of crypto has been struggling to maintain its footing around the $56,000 level, and the market sentiment is anything but bullish right now. On-chain data is showing negative funding rates, which is a clear indicator that the bears are in control. For those not familiar with the term, funding rates are periodic payments made between traders and a perpetual futures contract. When funding rates are negative, it means that short sellers are dominating the market and are willing to pay long traders to hold their positions. This bearish sentiment suggests that Bitcoin could be in for more downside in the coming days. MetaPlanet's bold move betting big on Bitcoin, but it's not all doom and gloom in the world of Bitcoin. Over Japan, a company called MetaPlanet has secured a whopping $1 billion loan at a rock-bottom 0.1% APR to fund additional purchases of Bitcoin. That's about $69.13 million for those keeping track, and it's a bold move in the current market climate. MetaPlanet's strategy is eerily similar to what we've seen from MicroStrategy, the U.S. firm led by Michael Saylor that has been accumulating Bitcoin like it's going out of style. MicroStrategy has amassed a staggering 226,500 BTC worth $14.3 billion since 2020, and MetaPlanet seems to be following in its footsteps. This move by MetaPlanet is significant for a couple of reasons. First, it shows that institutional interest in Bitcoin is still alive and well, even in a bearish market. Second, it highlights the growing trend of companies adopting Bitcoin as a reserve asset, a shift that could have long-term implications for the broader adoption of cryptocurrency. Bitcoin's technicals relief rally or more downside? Let's take a closer look at Bitcoin's technical picture because it's sending some mixed signals right now. On the one hand, Bitcoin's price recently broke below an ascending trend line, leading to a sharp 12% decline. But it found support around the $49,917 level and has since bounced back with a 3.7% increase, trading at around $57,245. If Bitcoin continues to rise, it could face resistance at the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level of $62,666.66. This level is critical because it aligns with the broken trend line and the 100-day exponential moving average EMA. If Bitcoin fails to break above this level, we could see a reversal and a potential retest of the $49,917 support level. The relative strength index RSI on the daily chart is hovering around 38, which is just above the oversold threshold. This suggests that we could see a temporary relief rally before the downward trend resumes. However, 
If Bitcoin manages to close above the August 2nd high of $65,596, it could signal a shift in market structure and pave the way for a move towards the $69,648 resistance level. The bigger picture Bitcoin's battle with the Japanese yen. There's another factor at play here that we can't ignore the unwinding of the Japanese yen carry trade. For those unfamiliar, the carry trade involves borrowing in a low interest currency like the Japanese yen to invest in higher yielding assets. The size of this trade is massive with estimates placing it at over $500 billion and it has flowed into various markets, including Bitcoin. As the Japanese yen strengthens, we're seeing some of these trades being unwound, which is putting pressure on Bitcoin and other risk assets. Analysts warn that this process could take several months to complete, adding another layer of uncertainty to the market. The Fed's rule AEA potential lifeline. Despite the bearish sentiment, there's a potential lifeline on the horizon of the Federal Reserve. The Fed has committed to supporting the economy, and there's speculation that we could see interest rate cuts or even a return to quantitative easing if the situation worsens. If that happens, it could provide a boost to Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as investors flock to assets that can serve as a hedge against inflation and currency devaluation. So what's the takeaway from all this? Both Ripple and Bitcoin are facing uncertain futures with legal battles, market sentiment, and macroeconomic factors all playing a role in their trajectories. Ripple's $125 million fine and the injunction are significant, but the potential for an SEC appeal means the case is far from over. As for Bitcoin, the bearish sentiment is strong, but the actions of companies like MetaPlanet and potential Fed intervention could provide some much needed support. As always, keep your eyes peeled, do your own research, and stay tuned to Crypto Educate for all the latest updates. And remember, in the world of crypto, things can change in the blink of an eye, so stay informed and stay prepared. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep those wallets secure and those gains coming.